Hey, let's talk about a woman who had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the woman who had a hemorrhage for 12 years. The Bible said that she wanted to be healed. She heard about Jesus. She went, she touched him, she did what she had to do, and she received a healing. You know, there are four things we could learn from this story. First of all, this woman fought for what she wanted. She was desperately in need of healing. When she reached there, there was a measure of resistance. There were people that surrounded Jesus Christ. She was in a weakened condition and she wanted to be healed. Pushing through those people might have been a task for her, but she fought for it. And you know, my dear friend, sometimes we find ourselves in a situation like that because we too we encounter people who might discourage us. We encounter people who might tell us, look, this is not for you, that is not for you, what you believe in, and you're trusting for something that will never happen. Look, get rid of that resistance between you and what you want from God. The second thing is that the woman started to move in faith. Yes, there are times that you pray and you trust God for his timing. Amen. But there's sometimes you just have to get up and move in faith. The Bible says that her faith made her whole. She didn't wait for things to happen. She went and made it happen because she already knew that Christ had made the provisions. Amen. And she wanted to get it. So she started to move by faith. And thirdly, you at times you have to be deliberate. She was deliberate. Deliberate in the sense that if I touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. When you have a goal in life, you will be deliberate. You will be deliberate with what you do leading to achieving your goal. With a goal in mind, what you need to do becomes apparent. So don't waste time and energy and effort on what is unprofitable. Keep a focus, be deliberate, know what it is you want and do it. And fourthly, if you fail, try again. She tried many doctors, all of them failed. She spent a lot of money, but she still wasn't better, but she wanted to be better. She came to Jesus, a crowd surrounded him. She was weak, and you know, all that she needed was just a touch away. All that she needed was just a touch away, just to touch him. So if she could only get close to where he was, she could touch him. So she didn't give up. Can I ask you the question, have you given up? Have you given up on the Lord? Have you given up on the, the, the idea of getting saved or rescued? Have you given up on what is your goal, your dream, your ambition? Have you given up, my friend, on what God has provided for you? I ask you, why not try again? He has provided for you. He has provided salvation. He has made other provisions. Amen. Why not try again? Like the woman with the issue of blood, getting what you want from God might just be a touch away. It might just be a touch away. Let us pray. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, I pray that Lord, if there is somebody out there who is discouraged, who is despondent, who may have tried and didn't get through, oh God, or, or, or there were circumstances and people and situations that brought about discouragement that that person will fight through and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved so cause that one to reach out and touch you and save him or her or save them in the name of the living Christ Jesus Amen and Amen God bless you